Hey everybody, so this is the, I'm working on my light bar for my rotary garden and I'm using common board, um, the one by four, um, and it's six foot long and I'm using the burlap to kind of just hold it in place one when, when I put the stuff, uh, the, the lighting fixtures on it. I'm going to be using fluorescent lighting because it's the easiest right now to find um, out the spectral discharge and you know how close it is to what I need whereas the LEDs they're just playing advertising games where they only give you what um, they want you to have so um, Home Depot got these for like 93 cents a piece the burlap I already had um, and so I'm going to be using three octagon shaped um, pieces to be the, the front middle and last um, support and then I'm going to be using um, um, four and two foot fluorescent lights. Um, now I had planned originally to use the um, the the parts and build build the parts that I needed, um, but that was actually it was more expensive to to buy the parts individually. So boomers adamantly helping he's providing security as you can see he's very he's focusing very hard so what i did was i got some sylvania high um, clarity lights um, especially pushing the blue light um, and then the ge um, active sports which are the two closest that i could find on the high end of the scale um, they didn't have sylvania i would have preferred sylvania but um you know these two will definitely do their light spectrums are very very similar and um, the T12 um, everybody's like oh the T12 is going out of it okay whatever T12 is the least expensive and um, it's the easiest way to go right now so um, instead of buying all the parts individually I bought a bunch of shop lights that had two bulb um, you know the four foot two bulb things and um, I bought one then went out in the parking lot and broke it open and looked at the, the, the ballast that's inside and it will indeed you um, support a two foot two foot three foot of the t12s that I'm going to be using so those when I get two four two four six eight eight Four, six, eight, ten. I got ten of those. Um, they were nine ninety nine a piece, um, which is much cheaper than buying the individual parts. Um, I don't know if you can see this back there, but um, those are the tubes. Those were actually the more expensive of everything, um, but I want to have those so if anything breaks or whatever, um, the mercury won't go into the plants. But the neat thing was is the operating temperature. Um, for that is 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect. Um, so the light bar is going to go down the center of the rotary garden, um, and it has a um, radius of six inches, which is one foot, which, well, for an octagon, it's a close to one foot as you get. But um, anyway, I'm going to be lining the, the light bar with this reflective water barrier um, insulator thingy um, one to increase its reflectiveness and also two to just provide a moisture barrier for the electrical guts so to speak so the neat part about this is that for me to get even a high powered fluorescent light bar it would have been like five six hundred dollars um, and so far with this I've been able to do this with a budget of Two ninety nine. So, um, the hardest part was freaking cutting this octagon. It was freaking ridiculous. Um, I can do all the geometric calculations, but the cutting part, my hands aren't that steady. So, um, but there, it'll definitely work because the boards are flat, and it, I took almost an hour picking out this wood because I wanted to make sure there was little to no bowing. Um, and I'm going to seal the wood um, with a, um, 
the same stuff that I did the thing with. So it'll be the polyurethane um, to make, you know, to help the wood not break down and all that stuff like that. So, um, yeah. So I'm working on that. And um, now that I got my octagons to work and I got my play in between here, because, of course, you always have to have a little play in the middle where everything's going to go. So, and of course, when you're using things to kind of hold stuff in place, you have, it's just going to be a little, you know, it's going to, wood is not like a lot of things. You have to kind of finesse it sometimes to get it where you want it to be. But once it gets there, if you got the good wood, then there you have it. All right, you guys. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, so I'll post a video when it's done. Thanks much. Leave some comments down at the bottom. Uh, let me know what you think. Bye.